Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you are watching ISTQB tutorial series. We are in chapter 4 still and looking at the black box testing techniques and we are in the another technique of the same topic that is state transition testing. So in state transition testing, generally we understand that how the transitions can be helping you to create a minimum number of test cases and execute maximum coverage. So generally it is used in case of transactions where generally you have a control flow involved or a complete transaction being involved in terms of different states showing the uh, possible states uh, within that particular scenario and having multiple transitions between them. So if uh, we really have to use the state transition testing, it is done with help of a state transition diagram, which is generally a pictorial representation of uh, different states and various possible transitions between them. Where it generally says that a state transition diagram is drawn to understand a particular scenario in a much better way to see what transitions are possible between them and also helps you to identify the necessary test cases required to be tested. So generally these transitions can be prepared as you can see in the diagram below where we have three different states here like S1, S2 and S3 and there are possible transitions between them that is A, B, C, D. And these are the four tests which we can just necessarily create out of this particular diagram. At the same time, STD always shows only valid transitions. That means we do not have any invalid transitions displayed in the diagram. That means which are not possible in reality. So generally when there are no transitions shown, so how do you find that how many invalid transitions are there in the diagram? So we say that STD generally consists of pair of transitions between any two states. And if in case you find this pair missing between two states, then the missing transition or transitions are called as invalid transitions. So let's take an example quickly to understand the same concept that how valid and invalid transitions can be determined. So we are taking an example of water here and uh, just assuming that there are diff three different states of uh, water, ice, liquid form that is water and vapor where we say that uh, uh, it is possible uh, we have various transition between them where A could be like uh, heating the ice you get water, B is like boiling the water you get vapor, when you condensate vapor you get the water back and you freeze the water you get the ice back. But as you see that we have followed the statement in the previous uh, slide that it must have pair of transitions between the two sets and we do not see a pair of transition between ice and vapor directly. So here we are not talking about passing through vapor, uh, passing through the water, but generally what we mean is directly communicating between ice and water. As we do not have that because it's not possible as per the transaction or as per the scenario understood. So we call it as two invalid test cases which are generally not displayed as a part of the diagram. So wherever you find that it is missing, you generally call it as uh, invalid transitions. So just to show you, this is what we are talking about that is ice to vapor and vapor to ice is invalid but generally not drawn as a part of a state transition diagram. So in the ISTQB examination, you will be expecting certain question on state transition testing where they will give you the diagram and possibly ask you that which one of these are invalid or they'll ask you one of the statements what we just discussed in the previous slide about the properties of state transition diagram. Repeating it once again, state transition consists of or represents a pictorial presentation of different states and various possible transition between them. Now to complete a state transition testing or a state transition diagram, we generally have a state transition table as well, where the table will represent the same diagram in a tabular form, like test case ID uniquely identifying the test cases, and each transition here is called as a test but it only determines a valid test. Of course, if you want, you can also consider the invalid test, but that is irrelevant, so we do not draw that in the table. So it would generally include the starting state, the transition uh, which takes it to the next state. So say ice to water, and the transition is A, water to ice, it is D, water to vapor, it is B, and vapor to water, it is C. So let's quickly take a sample example here to understand that what we are talking about and how the question can typically appear. So here we have a sample question at this point of time that is based on the given state transition diagram of a switch 
that is electrical switch, which of the following test case is invalid? Whether that is off to on, on to off, fault to on, or on to fault. So if you see this diagram, we have got four valid test cases, where generally the one which is represented in the diagram is a valid test case. But if you see S3 to S1, that is S3 to S1 and S3 to S2, as well as S1 to S3, are the transitions which are missing as per the properties, where we say that it must be having pair of transitions between them. So altogether, if you see, we have got seven tests here, where four are valid, three are val invalid, where the invalid ones are S3 to S2, S3 to S1, S1 to S3. But as of now, if you look at the uh, question concerned here, the answer is uh, D, where we say that, okay, it should have been D. I think I marked it wrong. It should be, oh, sorry, that's correct. It's fall to on. Like you cannot have S3 to S2. I was just assuming it like on to fault. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. So it's a fall to on. So you just take care of that, that, you know, you read the options carefully before you mark your answer. And of course, that is one of the transition which is not displayed in the diagram. And of course, an invalid transition. So of course, that should be the right answer. So thank you for watching the video team. This is what we have got in this tutorial. We'll be coming back with more uh, sample examples on this once we complete the chapter. So stay tuned for that. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe it because it will help you get notified with the latest videos on the tutorial series. So till then, thanks for watching. Team. happy learning